Welcome back friends. Today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable accessory holder. So to begin, I started out with a seven inch branch and you can also just use a dowel if you have one. And then I cut 12 cords, 70 inches. Attach it with a lark's head knot. Okay, time to make square knots. Grab four cords, grab that fifth piece, leave off that fourth and make a square knot. Now grab that one that we skipped and you're going to cross it over so that it connects with the next square knot. Again, grab the one we left behind, grab the two beside it, skip what would be the fourth and go to the fifth and then make another square knot. Okay, so we are not going to be alternating like you traditionally do with square knots. Instead, you're going to repeat what you did on the above row. So out of five cords, you grab the first three, skip the fourth, use the fifth to make your square knot. So you're going to repeat this until you have made nine rows. Now we don't want to waste any cord, so we're going to add a row of switch knots. To make sure that it stays woven, we are taking these two center cords and we are going to grab the two that we would have used and those would go behind and make a square knot. These are about an inch, but you can make them a little longer if you would like. So continue them all the way across this row. Again, you're going to grab those two, grab the one that we skipped and the one from the other set and make a square knot. Now because we made switch knots, our working cords are long again. So now you're going to make eight more rows like we did above.
Now I am adding a cord so that I can hang it. This cord is cut 28 inches. And I just wanna say that my cord that I'm using is braided cord and it is four millimeters. Now you can make this longer because there's plenty of cord left over, but I wanted them to be long at the bottom like this. So go ahead and just add some knots if you would like. There's many different ways you can end this. You can cut it straight, you can cut it in a V, you can add barrel knots, any type of knot you like. I just like a simple knot like this. And I like to keep them all random. And here's the final product. You can add your favorite accessories and you are all set.